McDonald's added $28 million just by having their cashier ask this one simple question. Would you like fries with that? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the many hacks that McDonald's uses to get millions of customers coming back again and again and again. So then that way you too could use some of these hacks. So make sure you guys keep watching. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a thriving small business and a profitable restaurant. If you wanna learn more about marketing tactics from successful businesses, make sure you guys comment yes in the comment section below. The key difference between small business and companies that have multi-million dollar budgets is that these companies have budget to hire top-notch marketers that understand their customers, that allows them to bring customers back again and again. Whereas small businesses don't have the luxury of time, resources, and money. And that's the reason why I'm gonna be helping you and revealing all the psychological hacks that these big companies have, so then that way you too can get more customers to buy from you. Let's dive right in. The first psychological hack that McDonald's uses is the Miller's Law. When we enter a McDonald's, oftentimes we see them display seven to 10 menu items, and this is not by chance. And the reason why is because people tend to only be able to hold seven to nine items in their short term memory. So, what does that mean? That means if you do have too many items, then it causes overload in your customer's eyes, and at the end of the day, it causes analysis by paralysis. So no action has been taken, people don't order from you. And that's the reason why in my previous videos, I always preach about keeping your menu items tight and small, which helps your customers make better decisions. On the other hand, if you do not provide enough menu items, it is very hard for you to capitalize on your customers. And that's the reason why the golden rule is seven to nine items. So what does this mean to you and your menu? This means this is an opportunity for you to audit your menu. So if you have too many menu items, that means it's a good opportunity for you to shut some down and only focus on your profit makers and also your hero items. Let's say if you have too little items, it is a good opportunity for you to increase your menu items so then that way you can maximize your profits. And as a bonus tip, for those of you who are really falling in love with your own items, then it is good to start and lead with seven to nine items. And later on, once you get your customers to come in to study and to buy from you, then you can expand your menu by adding different variations and giving them more options. A second type of marketing hack that McDonald's uses is the novelty effect. And there are two types of people out there. The first type are the people that order the same thing over and over again, just like myself. Whenever I go to McDonald's, I always order their Big Mac meal. The second type of people out there always looks for the new things to order. Just like my wife, she would always order the special things that are on the menu. And this specific psychological hack, the novelty effect, really caters to the second type of people people that wants to buy novel stuff all the time. So what does it mean by providing novel experiences? For example, McDonald's would offer premium burgers or even collaborations with Travis Scott, collaborations with BTS and the likes. So what does this mean for you and your business? This means that by utilizing the novelty effect, by introducing new items, you are able to bring in the second type of people to your business that have never tried your products before. Now, just because we talk about novelty experience, the shiny object syndrome, that doesn't mean you have to create something very revolutionary. It could simply be a collaboration with a celebrity, with an influencer, just like what McDonald's did with Travis Scott. Simply, they named a meal after Travis Scott and immediately that meal sold out. Same thing with Charlie and Dunkin' Donuts. So for you, you could be collaborating with different businesses or influencers to create something a little bit more of a novel for your customers. For example, locally, a ice cream shop called Mr. collaborated with a bakery called Boku in order for them to make a crossover, a croissant ice cream sandwich. This itself became a very popular campaign, something you can learn from. 
If you guys enjoyed this video and find value in this video, make sure you guys smash the like button and let me know this is the type of content that you enjoy. Now, back to regular programming. The third psychological hack that McDonald's uses is upselling and cross-selling. This is by far one of my favorite psychological hacks. The reason why it is my favorite is because it is simple but very, very effective. Have you ever gone to a McDonald's where when you order a burger, they're gonna ask you, hey, do you want fries with it? Or they would ask you, do you wanna make it a combo? Or would they ask you, do you wanna supersize this? This is a demonstration of what upselling and cross-selling looks like. Another example of upselling is when you go to Starbucks and buy a coffee. Oftentimes they'll ask you, do you want a muffin to go with this? Or do you want a cookie to go with this? The reason why this works is because we are much more likely to buy complementary items that supports our initial purchase. Something that makes the first item much more pleasant. And that's the reason why McDonald's chose to exploit this psychological behavior of humans in order to bring in an additional $28 million in sales just by asking this one simple question. Would you like fries with that? So once again, how can you utilize this psychological hack for your own business? This means asking yourself this one question. What would make this item that I'm selling much more enjoyable? So an opportunity where you can actually implement this is have your staff spot for opportunities that can complement items. As an example for you, on a hot summer day, when your, your customers come in, they're ordering a juicy fat burger, you can get your staff to offer them a refreshing large beverage. That would be an opportunity for a great upsell. The fourth psychological hack that McDonald's uses to the T is the charm effect, or also known as the left digit effect. What does this mean? This means that people subconsciously prefer prices that end with nine or nine nine. Our brain makes snap judgments of prices without having any cautious decision. What do I mean by that? That means when we see $2.99 on the screen, we don't see $3. What we see is $2. Interestingly enough, we actually tend to gravitate to the number nine. In 2003, University of Chicago ran an experiment where three items were on sale. Price at 34, 39, and 44. The item that was selling at 39 sold the most even though there were a cheaper option. And that's the reason why you see McDonald's utilize this psychological hack all the time with their burgers, with their combos, with everything that they sell. So what does this mean to you and your restaurant? That means you should re-audit all the prices on your menu and if you have an opportunity change those prices to a nine that's going to increase your conversion making more sales for you this hack alone you can implement today and see results right away and the fifth psychological hack that mcdonald's uses is the bargain mentality everyone wants a good deal. It feels even better when you're able to get what you want at a great price. And there is actually something very worth looking into of why we are such promo and bargain hunters. According to Kit Yarrow, who's a consumer psychologist and a professor of psychology and marketing at Golden Gate University, what you're really hunting for is the thrill of a bargain. And this is where I think a lot of consumers make the mistake. Most people, they don't even have something in mind. They're just craving that feeling of being a successful, competitive force of a shopper. In other words, they just like the feeling of scoring big. And that's the reason why McDonald's sends you coupon left, right, and center to make you feel like you are a winner. So what does this mean for you? This means for you to revisit the pricing for your menu item, work the margins in your product so then that way you can afford to create coupons which then you can occasionally send to your customers. So there you go friends, these are the five psychological hacks that these big brands that McDonald's uses religiously to bring more people in, to create more loyal fans, to make them spend more, 
to get them to buy again and again. And if you're interested in using these hacks that McDonald's and these big brands use for your very own business, then definitely check out the website below where I share with you more than 145 psychological hacks that these big brands are using. So then that way, you can create your own loyal fan base. That way you can hack into your customer's mind so they can spend more money with you. And there you go, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you guys smash the like button and leave us a comment in the comment section below. I love to see you guys soon. See you guys in the next video.